Living on TV and awesome people from around the globe. And today I am interviewing a Bollywood star, he works at Bollywood, and um, he's basically the Dev Dut, he played Dev Dut in Buddha, the Dev Dut, the crazy, insane, <laughs> twisted, yeah. Uh, sad Dev Dud that we all know if you watched uh, the 53 episodes uh, on uh, Netflix and that's what I know him as <laughs> and I'm very very happy to introduce uh, Jagat Singh to Moving On TV. Namaste. Namaste. It's very good Namaste to Namaste and you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's, it's, a, it's a matter of honor and proud for me to be a part of your show. And I'm thankful to all of you who have seen the show and who have liked it and you've made me come here and interact with people. Thank you so much. Well, it's wonderful to have you here. Um, as I said, myself and lots of other people, particularly people from the Buddhist community, we sat and watched the whole series of Buddha. And we saw you go through absolute hell from top to bottom. And, you know, when you actually died, when you died, we all cried. Are you in Mumbai at the moment? Are you in Mumbai at the moment? Yeah, I'm in Mumbai, very much in Mumbai. Okay. Yes, I am in Mumbai right now. Great, great, great. Okay, so um, you were born in Jaipuri, Rajasthan, is that right? That's right. Okay. And um, you actually studied geology and chemistry originally. <laughs> you know it all. Yeah, you know it all. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, you, and, and then you suddenly you decided to become an actor. How did that happen? Um, I was always very keen in them, acting and I was very fascinated towards movies. But... Uh, my school doesn't never supported any such activity, so it was always there with me. But uh, it was a very interesting uh, uh, incident which happened in my life. That I was going to my college, and uh, somebody asked me to for a lift, and um, I, I felt like helping the guy. And I said, "Of course, I can do whatever you want." And I asked him, "What do you do?" And then he said that um, I, I work in theater. So I got that clue, I got that uh, window into theater and act. I love to come to your theater, can I? And then he took me there and that was my first uh, uh, appearance. Uh, 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 that was my first uh, exposure to the, to the world of acting and theater. So I requested them that if I can be, uh, play any part or can be part of the team. So they, they, they took me as a as a background uh, uh, helper in the in the play, but that started and then from there I, I got to play small roles in theaters and then then it started with some part time work at the local TV channel in Jaipur where I was born and brought up and was studying, and gradually then I started uh, doing small roles in TV. So it's been actually a long long journey and wow. it really from a scratch. Uh, like from, from, from doing a backstage work in a theater to do uh, small roles in TV and then eventually anchoring shows at the, the local level there and then mm -hmm. ending up in coming to Mumbai and yeah, doing the films. Well, you've progressed, you've worked your way up the ladder, so to speak. So let me just... Yeah, from scratch, <laughs> you can say that. And, but what I wanted to talk to you about is um, <laughs> as an actor, as an actor, you played the arch enemy of Siddharth or Buddha. From the beginning of time, you tried to destroy him in every single way possible. And you tried to get rid of him. And you express such a huge amount of malevolence and, and, and cruelty and so much twisted anger and rage that came out of you. Now, how did you do that? For 53 episodes, how, where did you get that from? How did you manage to tap into such cruelty? Because I've had people, uh, they want me to ask you that. Because it was so, you're such an amazing actor. 
and you really put it across and we believed you you know there was no acting there you were there you were there you became dev Dutt, and that's what a good actor does how did you do it Janga? I'm a trained method actor and uh, when in method acting uh, we actually try to become the character we try to get the in your body, in your mind, and it's not just about uh, reading the lines and delivering them, but it's becoming the character. That's what is the best definition of acting is to just be the character. So, very interesting incidents happened with me when I was in the process of approaching the character and was preparing for it. Like uh, uh, in first two three days, I started getting uh, nightmares that uh, that I am actually dead, and I used to get in the middle of the night. And uh, it was not a very pleasant thing to, to experience that time. But uh, then, but I didn't, I never resisted it. I let it come in my body because it, it was one of the best things I was doing so far in my 16, 17 years of struggle as an actor. It was one of the best roles. So I, I let it happen with me. And uh, I've read a lot about Dave, and he used to think that he was very, very unlucky because whatever he liked and desired, it was always. Uh, taken away from me. Everything went wrong. Sorry. That was sorry, the, the sorry. biggest. Yeah, go on. So sorry. everything went wrong for him. It's, it's like you knew, sorry, you knew everything was going to go wrong with DevDot. Everything went wrong with him. Yeah. So you yeah. started, so I started feeling, feeling, Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Go and on. see, every, everywhere I used, to, I used to feel, I started feeling very unlucky. Like if I go for important work, my car will get punctured. I will get red signals, I will get stuck in traffic jams. So I started feeling that actually. Or maybe it was just the psychology or it was the way of seeing life. But I was I was seeing life as if life is not happy with me. It's taking away my opportunities, it's taking away the happiness, it's giving frustration. So maybe it's just a way of looking at things. And I started becoming data. Yes, it was very difficult on a personal point because I never used to I forgot what is peace, I forgot what is happiness. I used to get up in the middle of the night, I used to just, I was so restless that time. But it helped me, the moment I used to go on the set, it helped me transform into Deva because I was already living a life of the character. I was already living like Deva. And, and I started enjoying the process because that whole year I gave to that, this particular series. I, never, I didn't do anything else, I didn't take any other acting jobs. And, and it really helped me because, I mean, I used to transform into somebody else the moment I used to wear clothes. My directors used to tell others that don't go close to Jagger, don't go close to him. Because he's, he's like, he's become dangerous and he can be dangerous also. So, I used to stay alone in the room and on my sets also. I never used to interact with anybody and I actually became the character. There were scenes when David was drunk, so I used to drink on the sets, I used to drink wine. I mean, it just, I, I never, in my in my day-to-day -day life, I, I, I don't drink, I don't smoke. But for day that I started drinking and I performed a few of the scenes, actually drinking in like a couple of bottles. So, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, in the scenes where I was doing a lot of action, I was actually hitting myself with, with the, with, with the, with the yes. hunter. Uh, That's so something I was going to say. It's one of the most there. amazing experiences yeah. I've ever been. Okay. Okay, oh my god, I was going to ask you that because Devlet used to punish himself. He used to literally whip himself every yeah. time something went wrong. Yeah. And, and so you start, you felt like you were punishing yourself yeah. as well. I did act that. Actually, I did that. God. I actually did that, yeah. I got hurt many times while playing that. And I did that, yeah. I actually did that. You see, as, as actors, um, I, I perform as Edith Piaf. When I go onto the stage, now Edith Piaf, the French singer, she was a drug addict. She was into everything. She was into heroin, drugs, everything. I never touched anything. But um, when I go on the stage, I always felt like I become the character. But then I do one hour, yeah, exactly. I do my singing, and then I walk away. You yeah. did, how, how, how was it filmed? Was it filmed every day for the 53 episodes? How, how was that? How did they film it? It was, it was on an average 15 to 20 days a month. Yeah, but the, these intense scenes were very exhausting. I mean, at times I was dead, completely dead. And I was, I was 
good for nothing for next two three days. Sometimes it happened with me when I was doing these core intense scenes. Yeah, but yeah, fifteen to twenty days a month. You see, I had. I'm very passionate. I'm. I'm actually. I, I'm. I'm actually. I'm just mad and passionate about this. This. This whole thing called cinema and acting and and I just love to give my everything into it. Just everything. I don't want to hold back even one iota of my myself. So that's me. I mean, I'm here for for that. I've left my family seventeen, eighteen years back. I came to Mumbai. I've been through a lot in life. Just for this, and this is the in the future. I'm going to everything to it. Life. That's my purpose. Yeah. Well, you did an incredible job. You know, you convinced all of us, and you know, I can see now from what you're saying. I can see now how much you put into it. So it worked. Yeah. It basically <laughs> it, it worked. Yeah. But, but so you would come home. Yeah. But did you manage at all to switch off? From the character in any way were you able were you able at any point to switch off how long did it take you to to get him out of your system two to at least three to four months it was it was difficult to come out yeah it took a long long time maybe i'm not that to to have that control on that switch on and off button uh, uh being an actor but I never forced my to be normal I, because I was very, very emotionally attached to Devdutt and I believed in him. According to me, Devdutt was not, a, not a negative guy. I believed in him. He was doing, he was, doing, he was thinking that he's right and he, 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 he has this faith and belief that a lot of injustice has happened with him. And so did I believe. So uh, I, I just let it go the way it wanted to, and it took three to four months. I never forced myself or like took a break or went on a holiday. Nothing. I just didn't feel like doing anything. I was so attached to the character, so I let it happen naturally. Yeah, it took three to four months. Well, we interview of being dev does because I, you know, did you actually feel like that? For example, let's look at Yashodra. I mean, there was tenderness in there. There was softness in there. When he gives her the scarf, you know, there was there was romance in there the one I'm trying to say is a lot of the time we felt with dev that he was planning all the time Like right? when he went to say to see um ajustra i can't pronounce his name you know the king ajustra uh the king bimbasara's son ajat shatru ajat shatru, Aj Aj shatru. Yeah. he went to see him ajat shatru yeah everything was planned with him you know it's like I'm going to do this and this is how it's going to be, like a war. But when it came to your relationship yeah. with Yashodra, you had this tenderness. There was love in there. Do you, is that true or it, was that all yeah. part of his scheming and his planning? <laughs> David had full loyalty towards the country and for the love he had in his actually very much in love with Yashodra and there was the, the frustration in his life was because of this, that he could not become the king because he was so much in love with the country he, want, he was a true warrior and he wanted to serve the country he wanted to serve the country in his own and he, he wanted to get married to Yashodra and these were the two factors which he could not get in his life and that was the cause of the frustration Mm -hmm. So when it comes to Yashudra, they didn't have done anything for her. Right. Actually, he has pushed his mother and went against his father and, you know, mm -hmm. the father that I, I, nobody can stop me from getting Yashudra. So he believed in that. There was, there was no, there was, there was no, no plan which has any kind of cunningness into it. It was right from his heart. He believed in that, that Yashudra, he is the right one for the Yashudra. Mm -hmm. So... There was, there was a lot of heart it came, across, it came across that, um, you know, in the, in the beginning where he gives her yeah, all these yeah. flowers and then Budig, when they were little, I mean, okay, you weren't the actor, but the character, he gives her lots of flowers and, and Buddha gives her, and Siddharth gives her a seed and, and she grows all these flowers. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you do, and you start to feel, but he was doing it from the time he knew her. He was trying to do this from the heart, but somehow you look, you look a bit at, at Siddharth and you think, oh, he's a bit of a goody two-shoes, you know, he's too good to be true because everything goes right for him. And, you know, that seed grew into a wonderful um, garden, the flowers, do you see what I mean? And, yeah. and you look at Devdut and, you know, he grows on you. You just start to have a lot of feelings of compassion towards him. And he's so, in a lot of ways, you feel like he's misunderstood. And quite honest, Yashodra should have married him. I mean, like, look, look what happened. <laughs> the poor woman was left, you know, on her own with a baby. And people weren't very happy at Siddharth when he did that. Not until he became Buddha. And we understood, you know, the whole message behind it. But she should have married you. She should have married Devdas because, quite honestly, he would have been there. Let's put it that way. So um, I'm just going to take a short break now because we need to have an advert from our sponsor. And when we come back, we're going to watch a little bit of the death scene of where Devdu dies, you know, at the end, which was, oh, it was just, yeah. we're all in tears. We're all in tears. It was very, very powerful. And, and you should win an Oscar for that if there is such a thing as um, Oscars, for uh, in <laughs> we should win an Oscar for that. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of that, but if you're saying so, I'll start thinking like you someday. Well, I'm going to ask you, wishes, yeah. sorry, uh, Jagat, um, I'm going to ask you some questions after we've watched the scene, a little bit of the scene. So we're going to come back after the break and um, then I'm going to ask Jagat to talk about his real feelings of what was really going on inside him as he was doing that death scene. So, thank you. Welcome to Moving On TV, the new TV channel for us, the positive, inspirational TV channel. Come on board Moving On TV, the new positive channel, the channel that gives you hope. Hello, my name is Marcin Oswald of Marcin Oswald Hypnotherapy. I specialize in smoking cessation, weight loss, phobia release, stress management, and hypnobirthing. I can do a free assessment via the phone, via Skype, or face-to-face -face at any time. So that's Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. Looking forward to your call now. You can also find me on my Facebook page, which is Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. शांति से जाओ देव क्षमता बुद्ध जागने के बाद हम जिस पथ पर चलते 
गोपाल धर्म है स्वयं के मन को एकाग्रित करना उसे केंद्रित करना और उसे एकत्रित करना संग और ये तीनों रत्न तुम्हारे अंतर में The, um, the demise, the death scene of our lovely Dev dying on his deathbed. Now, I, I thought he was going to recover. I really did think he would come through because somehow he came through everything. And I thought, oh, he's not going to die. They're not going to let him die. But as you see, he lay on his deathbed and he said, uh, Buddha Saranamga Chami. Is that right? Do you want to say it? <laughs> The last three lines. I see that, that, but before that, what does yeah, he say? I'll definitely do that. Don't do. A very, very interesting incident to share on the same sequence that uh, the, we had a stunt uh, uh, man, like a like a stunt man who was doing performing that scene where actually they that rolls down from the cliff and he falls down. But I was standing there and I was not happy with the intensity and the force which was coming into that. So I wanted to do that on my own. So I requested the director that I want to do this scene on my own. Oh my it's risky. Sure. So I, I actually pushed that guy, you stay aside and I'm going to do it on my own. Dad, and it, it really like everybody appreciated that. So if I see that cliff now, I, I can't believe that I have actually rolled down the cliff and without any protection as such, and I did that. But that was, that was the flow, that was the charge, that was the intent. That was the, which day that used to rule me, actually my body and my senses. And I allowed him to do that. So, and yeah, and, and then we <coughs> see, and you ask, you want me to say the dham sharanam the chami. I want you to say it. That dham sharanam the chami. I'm like kind of singing right now, but, but, but if you, I can't become that. I can't become that because it was a completely different state of mind. Yeah. Of course. But I can't relate yeah. myself that I did that. Let me just explain yeah. to whoever doesn't know about Buddhism, because you know I, I'm going to a five-day silent retreat in Amaravati. I live very near a Buddhist retreat, and we always do a bit of the chanting. Oh, so just true. so you know, um, I, I, I come to the Buddha, and then I come to the Dhamma, which is the way, the path, and then I come to the Sangha, which is the community. And it's really the last things that you say. And, but what I want to ask you, honestly, from the heart, was Dev Dutt really yeah. surrendering at that point? Or did he think, oh, I'm going to get you in another life? <laughs> what, do you say? what would you say? Did he surrender? No, that was... Of course he did surrender. He did surrender. And I again want to tell you this thing that Dev Dutt... He always did what he believed in. And that time he was actually... He, he actually believed that when he should surrender and this is the time, that was the time he realized that this is the same guy who always has been, I thought Buddha was my enemy, but taking care of me when I was completely down on the ground, injured and almost on the deathbed. And that time what Buddha told me that don't worry, just go. And I asked him that I'm really sorry for whatever I've done to you and he said I don't remember anything. So that was the time David was completely shaken off. That Alice in his heart is no complaint. Yes. He's just fine with whatever is happening in that. Because, so it, yeah. it was the realization time. Because you do see the flashbacks, don't you? You see the flashbacks of uh, when Buddha right. exactly. was so kind to yeah. him. Yeah. That was David's state of mind. Yeah. yeah. It's so touching. It, it was like, as I said, I, I hoped he wasn't going to die. I really didn't want him to die. But, um, you know, he was so yeah. suffering so much. And now physically, you know, it's really good to hear you say that. So with every, yeah. every last breath, he was able to say, okay, that's it. I surrender. Yeah. 
I now believe that all you wanted for me was actually happy, crying so much that happy. time. Yeah. You were crying. Yeah. You, your your performance was. I was actually crying. Yeah. Was Oscar? As I say, you should win an Oscar. Do they have? Um, I was crying. Have you won? <laughs> have you won any um, awards? For your I just say. Awards for your performance. Uh, there are not many awards here for. No, no, <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. Okay. In that category, we don't have any, uh, such many of awards. But yeah, who who doesn't want to win? I would love to. <laughs> Well, you've won an award with all with me, that's for sure. You know, moving on TV, we think you're incredible. And, um, yeah, yeah. well, more about, I have to ask you some more questions of, um, about um, DevDut. And what about the relationship with uh, your co-actor? Because uh, you, obviously, Himanshi, Himanshi Sun. Do you, you yeah. get on with him. So obviously, you know, actors always get on, <laughs> luckily. So, but what happened when you started to feel so much like Devdo? Did that come between you and him? As Did you start to feel uncomfortable around him? Did you, did it affect yeah. your friendship? It affected your friendship. Actually, uh, you, you got it at the right note. Of course, it, it did in between because I was so much into the character that I started hating him and uh, we never used to talk much during the shoot uh, and we accepted it because we knew being both of us are actors and we knew why is it happening. So uh, in that particular time, yeah, of course, there was, a, there was a disconnect. There was like, we don't feel like talking. We don't want to stay. On the contrary, we started shooting this show. We both were given the same room because the same makeup room was given to both of us. And, uh, but gradually, as the route progressed, as the months passed and all, I started developing that sense of uh, jealousy for, for, for him on a personal basis also. And it was all because of the impact of the character I was playing. And uh, yeah, and one day, actually it happened that I was, I just went and I fell on his feet and I thought, you are the one that, who's going to give moksha and nirvan to me. I, it just happened. I don't know why it happened. I was just thinking about David and I was maybe thinking about the end of David. And it just, something, something entered my body or my mind or my soul and I just went and I fell on his feet. And he was surprised that why am I doing so? And the director said that it happens when the actors are too much into method acting. So they, yeah. they, they tend to behave like the character. So really my thought of my frame of mind was, I'm, yeah, yeah. So I actually did that. So. Oh, that is, it's very, it's quite frightening actually what happened to you. And, and <laughs> yeah, you know, luckily you were able to pull yourself back because I mean, Deftut really did, he was very evil. You know, he did kill a lot of people. He beheaded a few people, you know, and, and um, as you say, luckily you were able to pull yourself back. Do you have, do you meditate? Yeah. Are you a Buddhist? Yourself? Do you, do you study Buddhism? Yeah. I've, I've, I've started. Yeah, that's that's something which I would like to talk on. That um, since I've done the since I've done, done this series Buddha, I tend to understand what Buddha's teachings were because I was I was in the black space. I was experiencing the black color, mm. experiencing the the negative part. So I have developed the value for white, developed the value for goodness, developed the values for what Buddha has taught. Mm into that dark space so I know the value of light now so that has pulled a lot of my side into his teachings and I've started meditating and and it's and I've, I, I hear his uh, his dialogues and and especially the things which used to come at the end of the uh, every show uh, a particular uh, saying mm. preaching or particular line about what that episode actually concludes into and I've, I have all the recordings with me and I, I, I listen to them very often and I can connect yeah Oh, it's wonderful. Being David, I, I know the value of Buddha. Yeah. Mm, mm. Did you have to have, so did you have any, apart from that, did you feel you needed to go for therapy or anything like that to exercise the character? As no, well? no, 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 no. No, no. You were, luckily, you didn't need to do no, that. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I mean, what did your parents no, think no. about you saying that? <laughs> your family, how did they feel about it? How did they feel about it when they saw your, your character and Carrying, playing, and your acting. How did your family feel about it? 
so yeah, I've been away from family for now, now like 17, 15, 17 years. And, and, and I don't generally share much of my professional experiences with them. But yeah, of course, like any other parent, they were very, very happy and delighted to see me on national team. Yeah. A role and where people are also congratulating them that yeah because everybody has good things to say about the performance and the character and the series mm, mm. you so know you remind yeah, but your, on, 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 sorry, on first. your story no, your story reminds me of a film i don't know if you've seen it but it was based on an actor uh, i think Laurence olivier played the character an actor was playing the part of um, othello you know where he strangles Desdemona in Shakespeare. This is from Shakespeare. Uh, I think okay. Laurence Olivier played the part, and the actor was getting so obsessed with being Othello that at some point he actually tries to strangle his his uh, his wife because he thinks that he's she is Desdemona. He thinks that she oh, is it so? betraying him. So there's a film. It's a film. Don't worry. It's a film. But you see, so people have thought about this and how the character can take know, someone's yeah. life. You could write, you could write a book about it. It's an incredible experience. I mean, have you thought about putting it down on paper and writing about my experiences as devdut or something like that? <laughs> yeah, it's a good, it's a good idea actually. <laughs> Let me try a hand on that. Oh, yeah. Or maybe let me have some more experience about acting and then I'll have some more things to write on it, uh, in it. Uh, let me do some characters I hope I get to play and then something, mm. something more should be added to the book and not just save that. Well, <laughs> but I, it's a good I, idea. I think what you, you know, what you portrayed, the characters that you portrayed in Buddha, um, I don't think you could really go any further. <laughs> I, you know, is there anybody, who could you play? Who do you want to play? Is there anyone that could take you to such levels? Is there any character that you feel personally you'd like to play to take you even further as a method actor? Because I think it's incredible. I, I wouldn't be brave enough to play something like, um, we don't say it, but you know Lady M from Shakespeare? We don't say the name because it's supposed to be bad luck. But she was very, very cruel and manipulated her husband, as you know, to go out and kill everyone. And um, I've healed a mental illness. And I personally don't feel that I could do that. I feel that it would really screw up my head and make me sick. But anyway, coming back to you, I, that's why I think you're incredibly brave and, and incredible, incredibly courageous to do what you did, the way you've done it. And you kind of surrendered. You surrendered your whole mind, body, and yeah. spirit to everything to the part. And we're grateful because yeah. we got this incredible performance that inspired us. But who would you like to play? I know you're, you've moved on now to doing another character in uh, Lipstick Under Your Burka, which we'll talk about in a minute. But before we do, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it's anything like that. From what I've seen a little bit, some of the footage, uh, the character you're playing, he seems quite tame compared to, <laughs> well, yeah. Who would you, as an actor, aspire to play that could give you the level of um, emotions, maybe the other extreme of joy, I don't know. Have you got anyone in mind that, that you'd aspire to play? Uh, yeah, I'll, I would like to play Alexander. Right, Alexander the Great. Alexander the Warrior, yeah, right. I would like to play yeah, Alexander Great. I would like to play that, yeah. Because he was, again, a, an extremist. Right. So uh, I'm sure, uh, I don't know much about him, but yeah, I know that he tried to conquer the world. And you can imagine the, 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 the thought process of a person who's trying to win the world. And he quite did it also. Mm. And at 33, he was just gone. So he lived a life and he has left a his name for the rest of the world to think that, oh, Alexander was like such, and we, we say that Alexander the Great. I just said Alexander and you added the word great. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I would like to play Alexander. And of course, you will get the throne. <laughs> because you'll get the throne. <laughs> you'll get the throne. This is, this is the... Everything, you did everything to try and get that. This throne. is the throne where I get love and it comes back to you. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, just coming back, 
to Devdas again. Um, he originally, you say your older brother, you, you know when they have the incident with the bird, you say to Siddharth, uh, are you going to um, uh, do something to upset your older brother? But you weren't his brother, you were his cousin. Is that right? No, his older brother, you were his cousin? Yeah. Right. Because cousin, 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 first cousin. Yeah. But again, when you look into the um, research, they say that Devdut was his stepbrother. So it's not, it wasn't, it, not exactly sure whether he was his stepbrother or his cousin. There's a bit of a, whether there was no, something. It was cousin, happened. cousin, it was his. Um, his he definitely was yeah. his cousin. His, right. his older yeah. cousin. cousin. And obviously, you see in the beginning, yeah. he, he was everything to the king before Siddharth was born. Death before Siddharth was born, yeah. He was kind exactly, yeah. Of by the king, and then once Siddharth was born, yeah, the that focus went to Siddharth. That, and that was, was one of the reasons he felt neglected. Yeah, of course. And the frustration of course. Frust building up to that. Of course. The first thing which went away from Devdut after Siddharth was born was the love and affection and all the tension which he used to get from the king. Went to Siddharth. Family, which yeah. all went to Siddharth once he was born. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's why I started thinking from that point of view, you know, but that's why I justified this. Uh, as a child, he has faced a lot when he was poor and like he was make, made believe that he's the one who's going to be sitting on the throne when Siddharth was not born. And the moment Siddharth came and he was completely neglected. So as a child, he has to go through a lot. So that, that was the route where it's all in Devdath. And then it went on and on and on. First, the bird was given to uh, 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 Siddharth, and then yeah. it was Yashodra, and then it grown, and then it was everything. Yeah. Right everything bit by bit. And it got to the point where we knew yeah. inside, we knew it became a bit like a pantomime because you knew that Devdut was that, that Siddharth and Buddha was always going to win. The good and the compassion was going to win. And it started to become, do you know what a pantomime is? Yeah. Where you have the boo, the villain, Mangala, your mother in it, the uh, Devdut's yeah. mother, Mangala. Ma she yeah. was so cruel as yeah. well to see that everything that happened to, um, to Devdut, uh, everything that started to happen was going to go wrong. Everything. It was like, it was like a Greek tragedy. Yeah. You, wrong. you just knew yeah. it. But then as it happened, you, you know, yeah. when you look at it from outside, you can see that um, he, how much he struggled. I mean, do you, have you watched it? Have you watched it in the last, since you let go of the character, have you watched, have you stood back and watched the series and, and see what, what do you think when you watch it? Without being in it, when you stand back, what do you think about it? See, being an, always, yeah, being an actor now, I, I, being an actor, you always try to, or maybe I can say being an artist, when, Whenever you look back to your work, what you've done, first thing which comes in your mind is that I could have done it better. So it's very difficult to get that part of your, out of your mind. And, and you always focus on what you've done and the technicalities and the, and, and the, the way you performed. So I, I, I try to see it and try to understand, but it, the first thing which strikes me is, oh, I could have done this scene better. Oh, I could have done this also in that. Oh, I could have done that also in that. Okay, so, what happens after <laughs> that goes? That's what comes across yeah, my mind. Exactly, yeah, because we're, we want everything perfect as actors and performers. It's always like that. But yeah, when yeah, that goes, yeah. what else? What else? Yeah. What's your observations about your performance after that or the character? Can you see anything from the point of view of an audience of, of the actual what's happening, the way everything's unfolding? Story, I always was very much involved from the from the day one only. So there's nothing much I explore now because I've lived it with such closeness and with such depth. So as story wise and as um, as the content wise, I was always very much aware and always into it. So there's nothing much to explore. Yeah, you you try to do those things in your life what you learn from Buddha, and that gives you new experiences. But just looking at the series and all. Um, I was already there into it, so nothing much, and all the attention goes to the performance and the technicalities of the show. 
or this shot could have been because now I'm trying to direct also a movie. So I, I look at the direction point of view that the, the way the, the, the series was shot and, and the emotions of the dial uh, and the actors, the delivery, the camera angles and all. So mine goes with those, those things rather than yeah. getting the emotional and you know, that's already been extracted out of it. But uh, some of the scenes were extraordinary. I mean, the scene when Buddha is sitting there meditating, Amara with the arrows and the colors and oh, it's just absolutely amazing. They, they did so yeah. much amazing, beautiful amazing, yeah. scenes. Anyway, let, let's leave. <laughs> let's leave Devdu for a while. You know, I want to come back and do another interview with you. Once I come back from my um, retreat, I'd love to do another interview with you and maybe do a couple of interviews because this is just fascinating. Please share those experiences. And it's, it's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. First of all, so you're now, you're just finished working on a film called Lipstick Under the, Under the Burka. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I mean, I looked at a few scenes of it. It looks very, very brave film, a very brave, courageous film uh, yeah. to be in, especially yeah. in the way we live our lives at the moment. Um, so basically, it's about uh, are they Muslim women that literally they they um, they let go of their their Muslim life and they go out and party and have fun, and that's the representation of the lipstick. Is that right? Uh, it's not just about Muslim girls. It's it's about it's about it's about a f female individuality, especially in, in, in our country or uh, uh, where where females are suppressed, uh, they are not given freedom. They cannot choose what they want to. They are not allowed to choose. So the burqa is basically a metaphor. It doesn't literally mean the burqa, but it's a metaphor which is used that all the desires. All the wishes are actually hidden under this burqa, which is the male dominated society. Right. Which is the male power, which tried to overpower the women. It's very yeah. great. So it, it doesn't actually, yeah. It's not about Muslims, it's about women. About women in particular. And uh, so, who do you play in it? What's your character? I play, yeah, I play <laughs> the swimming coach in the film. Uh, a swimming coach, uh, a young swimming coach, and who who teaches girls and you know how to swim, and and that's where the the actress who's opposite to me, uh, Ratna Patak Shah, she's she's a legend herself, and she falls in love with this this guy, and and she has her own fantasies, and that's how the story builds up between both of us. And you play, have you seen the movie or do you have you seen any rushes or something? I, I saw a little bit on YouTube, yeah. I, I watched a little bit. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. We'll probably get yeah. it on Netflix. We get everything on Netflix. It's on Netflix now. Oh brilliant. Well I'm definitely gonna watch yeah. it. So you, you play a nice It's guy. getting released in US also now in, in, in September. Who well, we need it. Yeah. We need it. it. It's what we need and, and good luck with that. I think it's incredible that to be Thank you so making much films that. like that. It's so important, isn't yeah. it? It's all about freedom. Freedom of speech and freedom, you know. Yeah. Um so you play a nice guy in this? To do what you want, yeah. Yeah. But your character is, Yeah, I mean the character is I a very normal it. character. He's just a normal guy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's it's not, it's not, not, not based on sexuality. I'm saying uh, it's, it's a very ordinary person. Any, any ordinary have affairs or would like to flirt and will do a part-time job. So you can't actually categorize it in a, in, in, in a good or a bad character. We all are gray, gray actually in our own lives. So he's a very ordinary guy who has his own gray shade to it. And... Uh, uh, he just get to uh, into that uh, interaction with this uh, lady who is 48 50 but he he never knew that he actually he's talking to the to the to 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 the lady he has his own fantasies and and he was thinking that he's talking to someone else which he used to uh, find very attractive at the pool so this whole thing builds into a mystery and which unfolds into the reality which uh, actually hits him very badly and then he has this little gray element that he goes and he uh, complains and, and you have to see the film actually i can't talk okay. much about the film. if you have not seen it okay. you must see the film so yeah. buddha i mean you finished it in was it 2013 2014 when you finished film buddha 
2014 or 2013? 14. Right, okay. 14. So you took yeah. a long... End of, end of 14. Okay, you took quite a lot of breaks. You took a long break first and then you went back, did you, um, to, to yeah. performing this yeah. character? Okay, so I have a question for someone here wants to know. Uh, do you feel the Bollywood, it represents... Are we live right now? Are we live no. right now? No, no, I've just got questions here that people have given me. No, we're not live. That's why we're going to be editing. Okay, okay. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, we're not okay. live. We're not okay. streaming. Okay. Um, do you feel that Bollywood is represents um, reality more than Hollywood? Somebody asked me if you could could you explain that? Do you feel that Bollywood gives people more of a representation of the reality of life more than Hollywood? See the scenario in Bollywood is now changing, and we are making more movies which are close to reality. We are working on biopics. We are we are working on films which. Earlier, it used to be a lot of fantasies in the film, yeah. But now it's changing. Uh, about Hollywood, I can't say much because a, I'm not really too much into Hollywood movies. I'm, I stick to my Bollywood and I enjoy Bollywood movies. And, and that's where I get all the inspiration to make Bollywood movies. But yeah, the scenario is changing now and we are, we are making realistic films. We are taking uh -huh. up issues which have been very... Uh, we, which has made their presence felt in society which has something to convey through medium of cinema. Uh, biopics are being made and uh, uh, stories on, on sportsmen and they're, 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 they're being liked by so many, uh, so many people here. So they are doing very well. So I can't say much about Hollywood. Okay. And another question I have before we finish, and as I say, I, I'm going to do another interview with you about DevDoz. I'm sure I am. She ain't going to get new questions and stuff. Is if you ha another actor yeah. came to see you and said that they were going to have to play something like the character of Devdu, what would be your advice to them? How, how would you help them to maybe have an easier time and to maybe not go through as much as you did? A little bit less suffering see, in real life. I know. Uh, I don't actually, I'm not much bothered about it. For me, the passion level is that much that it should be conveyed on screen anyhow. And I have taken the route of going through meditation, thinking and believing and just closing my eyes and try to see and visualize the thing and that era and started believing that I, if I am Devdutt, will happen to me how will I start thinking what will be my life like what will I do when I'll get up in the morning what will I do when I'll be sleeping mm. what will be my thought process what are the things which I like what are the things which troubles me most what is more important for me so the whole thought process changes once you get such character and you cannot portray the character like in, in one or two days it, it needs time to get your system it needs time to build that faith into the character you have to have that faith and belief in the character and it takes time it can take up to months it can it can it can get there you can get there in days also it depends upon the character and how close you are to that if i have to play an ordinary guy who is working for a young guy of 2017 it won't be much difficult i'm sure but going into the history past that era which such qualities were had, I think you need a lot of preparation, a lot mm. of preparation. Do you have any plans to come to England? Because I would love to interview you directly with a proper, you know, without all the uh, Zoom, because it's much better, obviously, face to face. Any plans to come to country? I really want to come and there because I know people. I have heard great things about London, about UK, about England, the the legacy, the aristocracy. You guys have ruled the world and I want to see the country which has ruled the world. So, yeah, yeah. I would love to. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm working on a film. Let me yeah. get done with it and I'll definitely come for a week. That's wonderful. Get, get um, I'll take you to Amravati and then you can see this beautiful, huge, Please. 
Buddhist retreat. Uh, um, and uh, if you Please like, do connect when you are here. Like nice big yeah. salads, Mediterranean salads, and the food is wonderful. You love it. So it's been a pleasure, Jagat. It's been an yeah, yeah, incredible pleasure to interview you. Um, and as I say, when I come back from the retreat, um, I'll get in touch with you. And when you come to England, we'll interview you directly. And it'll be so great, you know, to be able to get you properly on the camera and everything. But in the meantime, it's been wonderful. Um, I suppose that it's, it must be very, very hot in Mumbai at the moment. Very hot. The weather? Very pleasant. It's very pleasant here. It's been raining. No, it's monsoon here. It's quite pleasant here. It's been raining, and uh, and on 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 this interview and in this interaction, I want to thank you for letting me come and interact with you. And it's an honor. And all the kind words and wishes you have given to me, I'll leave you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And, and good luck I hope you know you that. Yeah. I hope you know that uh, we we really do. Um, respect and and have so much um i can't think of the word but respect for your performance and you as an actor and everything you portrayed as i said i thought it was really important to be able to talk to you to help you let go of that a little bit more and i, I knew i was going to interview you i just knew i thought i'm definitely going to get in touch with you and interview so thank you for getting back to us so quick all my honor and for being so committed and responsible and i'll let you know when we release this so take care thank you everyone and that was jagat singh from mumbai with awesome people around the globe on moving on tv and if you want to come on here you're with your unique story i can't wait you can get to the studio and we will film you, or if you're on Zoom somewhere in the world, anywhere in the world, we can now film you. So have a beautiful day and namaste for Moving On TV. And you can always get in touch with me, with Lauren with an E, at movingontv.uk. Take care now. Bye.